In this video, I will show you how to go from hemp or cannabis stock to graphene-like carbon nanoribbons that has shown promising results for energy storage. Dried hemp stock is submerged in water for about two weeks in a process called redding. The usable bast fibers then become easy to remove from the woody core. Here, 9 grams of dried hemp bast fibers are combined with 150 milliliters of a 0.1 molar solution of sulfuric acid in a hydrothermal autoclave. You just need enough solution to submerge the bast fibers. After being sealed, the autoclave is heated at 180 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. The resulting biochar is then washed with about 500 milliliters of deionized or distilled water until the water runs clear. After the biochar has dried, it needs to be mixed with potassium hydroxide in a 1 to 1 molar ratio. Here I have 6 grams of biochar and 25 grams of potassium hydroxide. Biochar is about 75% carbon and 25% oxygen. They are then combined and ground with a mortar and pestle. After being ground, the mixture will need to go through its final process in a kiln at 800 degrees Celsius under argon flow for one hour. For the first few minutes, there will be some liquid that comes out, but that will stop. I am flowing argon at just a few liters per minute. After one hour, the argon flow is stopped and the chamber is removed from the kiln. The final carbon is clumped into large pieces which will need to be washed with 10% hydrochloric acid and deionized water. I used a quartz tube which was etched during the process. In the future, it would be best to use a stainless steel container. In the next video, I will test the final product and see how it performs.